NBC 25 and serving all of mid-Michigan. This is NBC 25 News. Their lives are considered less than rich white lives. After the recent fallout in Ferguson set off a national debate, the discussion stretches to mid-Michigan. Tonight, Flint residents meeting to discuss race relations in their communities. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Harris. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Sadie is off. Community members met to discuss solvable problems in the event of what happened in F Ferguson hits Flint. NBC 25's Nikki Sazazi in the public forum spoke to some community members. Nikki, how are people reacting to this type of dialogue? Bill, some people I spoke with say it's about time. While what happened in Ferguson may seem like a world away, many who showed up tonight say open communication between community members and police can diffuse a confrontation. But one man says so much more needs to be done. For Jay Cummings, it's a conversation that he says has been repressed to whispers for far too long. The bias Jay claims overwhelming. I can see how uh, I get treated and then I see how the uh, young black men get treated uh, in our cities and in our communities, and it's not fair. While the flames in Ferguson may have been put out, the social breakdown igniting a debate in Flint with a panel made up of concerned citizens and city officials. If we don't trust the police, why do we not trust the police? Is it Flint's police chief saying this will help people have a better relationship with police by working together instead of against each other. If there are issues in the community, you're at least aware of them and can try to find ways to address them. Organizer not Oakland out, Mixon not saying not he much. can relate. We're up in um, putting back of a squad car, you know, I mean, I may have had a ticket or a warrant or something like that. And um, yeah, I'm, it made me recollect and kind of think back to times in my life where, man, that, that could have been me. I could have I could have died that night. And Meanwhile, Jay hopes the discussion doesn't lose momentum and talk turns to action. So we need to do something to change the system. Bill organizers say this is just the beginning and hope city officials and residents work together to prevent senseless deaths. In the newsroom, Nikki Zizaza, NBC 25 News. Nikki, thank you.